Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven, uh, doing some more card reveal reviews, um, continuing fr from where we left off with uh, Fallen Rayla. Uh, we got this one here. Uh, this one was revealed by Zigzag Guy. Um, four strength, five provisions, Griffin Witcher, order melee. So you have to wait a turn to play it. Damage an enemy unit by three, or by one, cooldown one. So it's kind of like an archer, but you have to wait a turn. It has more strength, but you got to wait on it. Um, adrenaline three, at the end of your turn, damage a random enemy unit by three, and lock self. I guess people are saying if you put veil on it, uh, you can do this over and over again. Um so the card can play for a ton of points. I guess if you can Calanthe this, I guess you could uh, get some crazy value out of it. I don't know how you get double veil. I guess you'd have to play the um, fortune teller or something. The card seems pretty good. Um, it's a four for seven that can possibly do more work. I mean, I'm okay with it. We'll have to see what the um, the spawning Witcher thing is going, how that's going to work. Um, but cool card. I love the art. It looks like uh, what's his name, Joe Monta Montategia or something. The guy who plays Deathstroke on uh, Justice League at the end. I forget it. He, he was in a couple other movies, but. Really cool actor. I guess he does D&D &D too. So he's an all-around nerd. So we like him. Next one. Now this card's pretty bonkers. Um, this one was revealed by Shinmiri. Um, Arnagad. Arnahad. Um, it's like... It's going to be like... What's his name? Like Kelly. If you don't have the answer for Kelly, you're going to have a rough time. Um, for the way... I understood how this card plays is so it's seven it starts out as with seven strength ten provisions and it deploys gain one armor for every damaged unit so that's every unit on the board um, I don't know if you'd want to wild boar that early but I guess it um, pairs with the um, card that um, spawns the Damaged witchers and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things that are damaged in Skellige. They just like beating themselves up. I love this art, man. It's incredible. Um, but however many damaged units, it's going to gain that armor. So if you play Patricidal and then this, you know, it's going to get, it's going to basically be 10. Um, and it's Adrenaline floor, 4. When your opponent plays a unit, damage that unit by. Arnagad's power and damage Arnagad by that unit's power. So one trick I found on this one, if this is if this is the only one on the row, you could play um, Myrna and Yoink this. You play Myrna, it hits Arnagad for three um, or four. It drops to a three, and then this is like a extremely like rare scenario i don't think this is ever just going to get dropped as a seven but you can yoink it with mirna um and all deploy effects take place first so say you have um what's it called uh prince i guess he still will duel i'm pretty sure um or if you had philippa you could yoink it uh, which would be super sad on their part. They keep saying like Sucris and stuff like that, but you don't see Sucris now, so I don't see why you would see it with this. I mean, it's 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 going to be one of those cards where if you don't have the answer, you're just going to be in a lot of trouble. But I think they should make it row locked. I think they should make it melee only. That way, at least you can move it with maybe like Ard or something. But we'll see they're gonna let it they're gonna let it play out they want people to buy some cards and craft this bad boy first so 
I don't know. The card seems pretty good. I mean, you put uh, Trial of the Grasses on this and pass, and <laughs> if they don't have a way to kill a 20-something strength unit, they're just they're screwed. I mean, that's just the way the way this one's uh, built. Uh, next one was revealed by uh, Team Nova. Uh, really cool team, man. Uh, mostly Spanish uh, speaking people on the team, but they uh, they do a lot of uh, really really great work. Um, they have their own website and everything. So, and it's it's laid out pretty nice, man. They do a hell of a job. Um, but they revealed Gaten or Gatan. Um, he's a five strength, seven provision Witcher. Deploy, move other cards from this row to another row. Damage a random enemy unit for every card moved by one. So it is separate pings. Um, the way it reads currently, it looks like it hits. Like if you had five on the row, it would hit a random thing for five. But it's just a bunch of random pings. Um, it, this, this is another one. Paired up with the other cards that were revealed. Uh, uh, the last one that, that I have... Um, as of now revealed the the movement archetype is going to be crazy i still think that uh guerrilla tactics is going to get a uh, it, it's going to get some kind of rework it's going to have some kind of passive because they're just they're pushing this archetype and it's i think it still needs a little bit more help because these are going to be super slow to set up these are like three card setups you know what i mean you got to play all these cards then you got to play fortunately this one doesn't have adrenaline so you can play this last save but is this going to be better than oak with the random pings and armor and witchers that are shielded all over the place i don't know it seems good i mean if you got the a row filled up pretty decently you know oak critters stuff like that it's gonna it's gonna wreak some havoc on people but that random word always it always uh has the chance for a dandelion moment um seven i mean it, it it only has to hit two units to play for its provisions i mean that's that's still really really good for seven provisions uh next one this one was revealed by mcbeard um this card is stupid <laughs> this card is just dumb <laughs> it uh Ireland of larvik um, he's a Witcher, four strength, twelve provisions. So this is going after your uh, amphibious assault slot. Um, deploy, boost all units in your deck by one. Adrenaline three, also gain immunity, and then it has orders. Remove boosts from all units in your deck, and then boost this unit by the same amount. So. If you could play this boosts, if you could do that trick where you could play double um, uh, blue stripe commandos and then boost them, then stick all the boost back out of them, and then play the blue stripes on on cue, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. And then also too, it's going to pair up with that other. The I think it's Cohen. So that they're all going to be the same strength. You know, it's just... Northern Realms is getting dangerous, man. I mean, between Shield Wall and now if they get a, a full-blown, like, Commando archetype. Once again, though, it's, it's, it's one of those decks, Commandos, where if you pass on it, you lose. But if they don't draw right, which I think that's why they gave them that hand-correcting card. Uh, if they don't draw right, you... It, you know you can win on even against it and if you bleed that uh calanthe or calanthe uh pavetta out of them to have them to play the commandos again they're they have nothing left in the deck granted they might have this still left but uh it's only gonna be uh a four so uh i mean that's pretty easily killed it's got immunity but I mean, that just means you can't poison it, right? I mean, you could still damage the hell out of it. You could still rock slide this if you need to. Um, 
you know there's going to be somebody that makes this makes some 40 card deck and pulls this and makes it uh you know like a 103 strength unit or something it's coming this card's bonkers though it's uh and the premium on this is going to be sweet i like it's got that like um conan like sitting on the throne type look to it it's uh it's a really good card this is a really good card he got hooked up mcbeard this one's uh it's gonna be trouble <laughs> it's gonna be trouble uh, and then the last one was revealed by Sachimi, I believe I pronounced that correctly. Um, this this art is awesome. It's got that eyeball in the back for the Witcher and the Cat Witchers. Um, Gezras of Leda. Boy, I'm going to butcher these names. Um, I love this card because it has options. I love options. I like that they these legendaries got these 12 provision like i don't know i i just this card's great because if you your opponent doesn't have any units and you do you can go boost and if you your opponent has a bunch of units you can go damage um it, it this is crazy so five strength 12 provisions melee at the end of your turn, move self to the ranged row and boost a random allied unit on this row by one. So every unit, at the end of your turn, move this unit to the row and boost a random allied unit on this row by one. Ranged, at the end of your turn, move self to the melee row and damage a random enemy unit on the opposite row by one. Adrenaline 3, so you play this with 4 cards in hand. Instead of random unit, affect all other units in row. So you can... You can light something up like a Christmas tree if your row is full. The way I read it is if you have... If somehow you have 2 row, rows filled... You can do... Well, you'd have to have 8 and 8, right? Because you got to have room for both to move. You would... This would play for 5, and then 16 if it hit, if the pings all hit correctly. So 21 points. That's crazy. <laughs> That's really crazy, man. This dude's going to be a badass, man. Um, I can't wait to see the premium on these. I got a feeling that they're, it looks like it's all part of like a big clock. And you're going to be able to like match these up i think these two are going to be load screens which is really cool because they're they're gorgeous um whoever bogdan is man awesome job man these are fantastic um but uh yeah that's uh that's the video for today guys just some reveals um one coming for me tomorrow i'm excited um it uh i haven't seen the card yet but uh it's coming and uh it from what i understand it's a spicy one so get ready man just none of this like i said none of this would be hot, possible without you guys so thank you guys so very much man i greatly appreciate it i'll see you next time